So in this one, basically we have radicals. How do first thing I need to do is to multiply. Remember, when you have radicals or here the square root, you can go ahead, when you multiply that you can actually mix them. And look how easy. X square root of three times square root of three, that's actually square root of nine. But remember, square root of nine is equals to three. So that just becomes three. Anytime you have two radicals and you multiply them and they have the same thing inside, it's just basically whatever is inside. Then a half. Six times square root of three times square root of three. You can see here that I only mix the radicals. I don't touch the six. So again, square root of three times square root of three is gonna be three. So what do I get? Well, these two guys give me three. Then these two guys here give me three. And I have to do six and three, and that's what I have 18. And then I have three. Three plus 18 is equal to 21. Awesome, I got my answer. You also could have done this this way. Look, there is an invisible one right here. Since these two radicals are the same, I can mix them. And I can say one plus six, and that will be seven square root of three. Then I just have to multiply the square root of three times seven square root of three. Well, remember, since I can only multiply the radicals together, that will get me this. Seven times square root of three times square root of three, that's gonna be a square root of nine. Almost there. A square root of nine is equals to three. My final answer is seven times three, and I get the same answer, 21, and that's it.